What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. Well, I wasn't aware of this, man. Um, but Phase on Love went in on Stephen A. Smith again yesterday. Now I'm just seeing this. Um, I'm just seeing this in my suggested videos now of course this all comes in the wake of Stephen A. Smith's take on the BET award showing a tribute it was a short tribute to OJ Simpson of course OJ Simpson passed away earlier this year at the age of 76 of the effects of prostate cancer and of course we don't, we don't have to go into detail about why OJ is a very controversial figure. Um, but be that as it may, OJ was still a significant figure in the black community. He's one of the greatest athletes, the game of football, one of the greatest athletes, period. You could argue he's a top two all-time running back. I mean, the man rushed for 2,000 yards in a 14-game schedule, Okay. A 14 game season. The NBA, excuse me, the NFL season now is 17 games. So, I mean, look, Eric Dickinson's record is 2,105, right? And that was in a 16 game season. OJ rushed for 2,003 in 14 games. So, add three more games, even if he just averaged 75 yards those last three games, what is that? Almost 200 additional yards. So that was one of the great seasons of all time. And before the injuries, OJ was arguably the greatest pure running back the game has ever seen. Him and Jim Brown, in my opinion. So I don't care about what people think. The man is one of the great athletes. And he was a tremendous pitch man. He was a, an analyst. He was a Monday Night Football. He was an actor. Um, before 1994, he was a beloved figure. And now people want you know, like Stephen A. Smith wants to cancel him completely. That didn't bode well a lot of us, including Faison Love and Willie D, who gave their their opinions of what Stephen A. Smith had to say in, in online uh, rebuttals. Stephen A. took offense to what they had to say and retorted, uh, well, pretty much, uh, I'll say, respond to what they had to say and Willie D gave his response and completely destroyed Stephen A. Smith. Not once, I think three different times. But I did not know that Faison Love responded. Now, I would play the audio, but, you know, I can't do it for some reason on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it on YouTube. But, um... I was just going to say this, man. He destroyed Stephen A. Smith again. Uh, just do a brief summary of what he was talking about. He, he he questioned Stephen A. Smith's blackness. He suggested that Stephen A. Smith was raised by white folks. Said he probably didn't have a black male in the family growing up. Uh, these are his words, not mine. Uh, he said this, that Stephen A. Smith, and a lot of us feel this way, he said he doesn't really have a grasp of the black culture. He doesn't really have a grasp of, uh, of what it is to be black or the black experience. And um, he brought up Willie D saying that, um, you know, when Stephen A. pretty much tried to stand his ground trying to say he wasn't intimidated, he said, look, Let's just say you whoop my ass. Talking about uh, himself. He said, yeah, let's just say you whoop my ass. What you going to do with Willie D? He said, Willie D fights in his sleep. You know what I'm saying? And um, just, just proceed to go in on him, man. Just basically just made him out to be a lame, man. A lame, and he also corrected 
what a lot of people are misquoting from OJ when they say that OJ said, I'm not black, I'm OJ. When he said, the actual quote that OJ said was, I'm not black, I'm not white, I'm OJ, which is basically what he was saying is, stop identifying me by race, I'm an individual, which in theory, I agree with. I hate when people judge me by race, purely by race. Now, I talk about racial issues because it is part of the American fabric. We can't simply act like race doesn't matter. But I despise when people prejudge me based upon the color of my skin. Wasn't, isn't that what Martin Luther King Jr. is trying to eradicate? You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it's funny. You know, Stephen A. Smith always quotes Dr. King, but O.J. Simpson tried at least to live by that motive, that that, that motive. But uh, a guy like Stephen A. Smith is trying to question O.J.'s blackness when Stephen A. Smith has constantly been on the wrong side of our community, want to call us that, on various issues. You know what I'm saying? Going back to when he first joined ESPN. Increasingly so since he came back from being fired. So go check out that uh go check out that uh that 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 rebuttal that phase on love uh issue. So it, it, you know, this is a long time coming with Stephen A. Smith, though, man. It's a long time coming. People recognize the shucking and jiving this guy's been doing. And um, people are tired of it, man. People are tired of this little dance that he be doing, you know. Uh, he, he he tries to, when he feel like it's getting hot for him in the past, what he'll do is he'll come on the show and, have his little cross color jacket on and Malcolm X had and try to play the, Oh, I'm, I'm in tune with the black community. But Hey, when he falls out of favor with the other side, that's when he spews out the, 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 the $50 words. And now look, I use big words too, but I don't do it to impress people. I do it because I'm a reader. And when you read it, 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 it helps to be able to understand what words mean. So if you read, your vocabulary is just going to become naturally bigger. So I don't do it to impress people. I don't give a shit what people think about me. I do it because I like words. I like the English language. And I do it to improve myself. I can give a damn about what other people think. You know, but Stephen A. Smith probably does care what other people think, especially the other people. I mean, he told us that. He told us that he wakes up every morning thinking about how to help uh, his bosses make money and, and and how he can get crumbs. If that ain't a classic slave mentality, I don't know what is. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? This is, like I said, it's a long time coming for this guy. And um, <laughs> you know, like I said, uh, when he gets on the wrong side of the other community or the other folks. That's when he put on the tie, clean up his language, uh, put his hands together, you know, clasp his hands together on top of the desk and be on his best behavior. You know, like Steve, I remember, I remember what he said. Yeah, he probably don't, man. Uh, when he in the office, he don't probably look them people in the eye, you know. You know, and, you know, what has that gotten you, Stephen? And all of that tomfoolery, all of those, all that shenanigans that you pulled over the years, disrespecting Nigerian players, uh, you know what I'm saying, S snaking people that work with you. Look what you did to Max Kellerman's career. Look what you did to Max Kellerman's career out of spite. Now, he's not a brother, but I don't care about that. Look what you did in Max Kellerman's career. For, for all intents and purposes, Max Kellerman seemed like a really nice guy. Now, I'm going to tell you something. A tragedy happened to Max Kellerman 20-some years ago when his brother lost his life to a scumbag, right? 
Now, I'm just going to say something. To, I'm being honest. A lot of times, people like Max Kellerman, when something like that happens to his brother, they could use that as a stepping stone to just hate everybody that looked like the person that took his brother's life. They could be that petty, that hate field. But Max Kellerman is a much more enlightened, much more intelligent person than that. And I'm glad that he didn't go down that path. And Max Kellerman was more in tune with our community than this guy, Stephen A, could ever dream of being. And that's what really bothered him. And it really uh, became manifested on Stephen A. Smith when Terrell Owens said what he had to say. By the way, have you noticed that Terrell Owens has never been back on, let alone first take? I don't think he's been back on ESPN since then. That's how much that hurt Stephen A. Smith. And then afterwards, what I think what happened was Max Kellerman uh, was a threat to Stephen A. Smith. He probably went to his bosses, and under the guise of, oh, this format isn't working, he got Max Kellerman removed from that show. And Max Kellerman, I don't know what he's doing now. Someone can inform me. Last I checked, he was maybe doing some podcast somewhere. And there's been other people that Stephen A. Smith has snaked that look like him. So, yeah, this is a long time coming for him. He did all of that. Like I said, you've done all of that tapping, shucking, jiving. And for what? Shan Shopping come over there, and I heard, I don't know how true this, but I heard he's making more money per year than you are. We already heard how much Pat McAfee's making because those people were able to build huge platforms, huge formats. Why? Because they were in tune with the current audience, the, the current, uh, what's where I'm looking for? Demographics. They was in tune with the, 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 the average fan of today. They were able to build an audience and build their brand. You just a corporate stooge. Out of touch with your 1998 conservative viewpoints that, you know what I'm saying, might have got you some brownie points back then in the Clinton era. You know what I'm saying? The the, the crime bill era. You'd have been right on point back then talking to them blue dog Democrats. Talking about how you need to be, you know, tough on crime and in, in our community and all that coded language. But the people have the power now, at least on social media, we do. The little people. And they don't like you. They don't like you, Stephen A. Smith. Even their own, your own people, when I say your own people, your own subs, we're telling you how wrong you are on these issues. So it is what it is, man. I think your run is coming to an end and you know it. You know it. But anyway, shout out to Phase on Love. Tell me what you guys think.